many students have this question that how do we handle class imbalance in a multi class classification setting in this video we are going to learn the oversampling technique smart for multi class classification setting for this we need to install the package imbalanced learn in python this package is freely available and you can install it using pip or conda we have already installed it let us run the execution so we installed the package imbalanced learn and it says that the requirement already satisfied for these packages next we need to import the necessary package necessary libraries such as pandas sklearn.datasets because we are making a dummy dataset here you can use any dataset that you would like to apply it on and i am creating here a dummy dataset then we are importing cborn matplotlib and numpy let me execute this cell next we shall create a dummy dataset of 5000 samples we we shall have two features in it and the number of classes that i want to have in this dummy dataset is 3 also we are specifying the weights for these dummy data sets so out of these 5000 samples the first class will have 5% of the total number so the second 10% and the third class 85% right you see so we are creating an imbalanced class distribution for a multi class setting okay next let's just see what are the different features look like so if you see okay i haven't executed this cell let me execute this now you see our features are some random numbers that are generated based on this sklearn dataset make classification okay let us see how the distribution of the dataset is and using our scatter plot and bar plot right you see we are calling the scatter plot on the two features we are using hue as y this will help us create the separate coloring for each of the classes right and the other we are creating the bar plot with the classes and the corresponding frequencies or counts okay so when i execute this you see we have three classes here the classes are separated with slight overlap and the distribution is somewhat like this right next in order to apply this smart oversampling technique we already discussed about how smart works in detail in our another video i'll attach it in the i link above you can check after watching this video now from the uh, imbalanced learn package we shall import imb learn dot oversampling import smart okay then next we need to call smart dot fit resample x comma y i will also specify the random state here in order to have reproducibility in the results that we generate okay if you do not specify a random state it will initialize some values differently in each run so it is a best practice to apply a random state okay and we call the fit resample method of smart we pass x and y values in it okay so our resampled data is generated here we will plot the resampled data and see the distributions so you see we, we have created the data samples the resampled data okay you see the number of values in each of the classes have increased significantly and you see the number of classes in the bar plot are equal for each of them you see the other two classes class 0 and class 1 have been oversampled to match the number of samples in our third class or the majority class okay if you check the distribution or the counts in the actual values you see the original sample had 262 510 and 4000 records now the resampled data has 4228 for each of the classes after oversampling right now what if you do not want to specify the same count values or the same number for each of the classes instead what you want you need to specify each of the classes depending separately right you want to say for the first class you want to create 500 samples for the second you want to have 1000 for third you have want to have 5000 samples by oversampling so that we can do by specifying the sampling strategy if we do not specify a sampling strategy by default it considers auto which is equal to resample all classes and make them equal to the majority class okay 
here we are creating a dictionary we so in order to sample based on the number of samples separately for each class we create a dictionary and we specify the class as key and the corresponding count as values one thing to note here is the count of each of these classes should be equal to or greater than the number of classes they originally had right so let me show you an example here if i change this to 1500 right we remember our class 2 originally had 4228 samples now i am specifying that my class 2 should have 1500 samples after resampling you see this will generate an error okay you see it says with oversampling methods the number of samples in a class should be greater or equal to the original number of samples so original number there is 4228 and now we are specifying 1500 so this is an error okay now let us go back and correct this we are specifying 5000 for class 2 we specify the sampling strategy we pass the dictionary d here the random state and again call the fit resample method okay let us see the counts so our original data has 262 510 and 4228 and our resampled has 1000 1000 and 5000 okay as we specified in the dictionary let us execute and see the bar plot so you see we have resampled data generated here and the class distributions are shown using the bar plot so this is how we can oversample our data in a multi class classification setting this you can do the same for binary classes for three classes for n number of classes okay hope you learned something new see you in the next lecture and if you want to learn the SMART technique in detail. Understand the concept of SMART. I have already made a video which I'll attach the i link above. Make sure to check it out. And if you like the content, give it a thumbs up. See you in the next lecture. Have a nice day. Bye bye.